Nah, that's wild. The collection. Jersey Frost really getting me right, bro. This is wild. Collection almost as tall as me, bro. Man, let's get right into it, man. Ah! What's good, y'all? It's your boy Cam back with another video, bro. And I'm sorry for the hiatus, but I'm back. How y'all like the quality, man? So I've been getting a lot of questions about Jersey Frost, and I wanted to do a whole collection video update. So if you mess with any of these kicks that's shown here, use code CAMC. Link in the bio for the website. Jersey Frost been hooking us up, bro. I'm telling you, like, if y'all saw the floor right now, bro. All 2024, bro, 1v1s, hoop videos, shoe reviews, all that, bro. We going crazy. So like, subscribe, turn on those post notifications. Let's get right to it. I'm going to show you my slight GT cut collection. We're going to have to go with the first pair of rep shoes I got. This is why Jersey Frost started messing with me because I did an unboxing video. Yo, what up, y'all? Got an unboxing video. I got so with these, bro, these are the ones that started it all. GT cut one line. Beautiful shoe. I loved every single part of it. Go half a size down, bro, because these run a little bit long on the toe box, man. The next one on this list, bro, is the GT Cut Crimson Ones, bro. The thing about this pair, bro, this pair, the Air Bubble Pop or the Strobel Pop, I played in like 50 hoop sessions. I was playing in this shoe damn near every single day. This is one of the goatest hoop shoes. I mean, it holds really good. The materials and everything, just the Strobel Pop. But I mean, damn, after 50 hoop sessions i mean that's good hooping bro then to the next pair we got the gt cut one eybl yell tag i played in these almost every day these still holding up really good i mean look at that colorway it's just beautiful look at this sparkle on there we're gonna exit out the gt cut ones and we're gonna go with the gt cut threes that are just coming out and this colorway is so tough bro like when i saw this on the website bro i had to cop bro Extremely lightweight shoe review coming soon. Um, I don't want to spoil anything, but this shoe is lighter than the GT Cut One. This is probably the lightest shoe I've actually hooped in, to be honest with you. It actually got the Zoom X in there. Hey, final thoughts coming soon. All right, y'all, that's it for the GT Cut collection. I know it was a little bit, you know what I'm saying? I don't go crazy on the GT Cuts, I mess with them. But Kobe's is where it's like, it's my heart. So we're going to go with starting down Kobe 4s to the 8s. So let's get it. So the first one on our Kobe 4 list, the Kobe 4 Prelude's, man. In great condition. I don't know if you can see the scuffs on it, but I mean, absolutely bonkers. The double zoom unit, the look of it. These are holding up. Even though realistically now I do a couple hoop sessions in the shoe, and then I have to go to the next shoe to review it. When I was doing like the OGs of these shoes, hooping in them 10, 15 times, going crazy, I was like, yeah, bro, yeah. So the last of my Kobe 4s, currently in my rotation right now, Kobe 4 Gift the Mambas. I mean, what can I say? I think I'm gonna get more of the Kobe 4s later on, but they're just not my cup of tea right now. I know we're kind of skimming through the video, but I want it to be as quick as possible and as to the point as possible. So we're going to the Kobe 5s. So first on our list, we going with a heavy hitter, bro. The Kobe 5. Now these held up great. Some scuffs, you feel me? That's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? The traction. If you just have 120 and you really want to spend on Jersey Frost or not, like a basketball shoe, Kobe 5 from Jersey Frost is bang for your buck the best. Next on our list, shout out to Jay. When I showed him these, he was like in all the PJ Tucker Kobe 5s. They got some scuffs on it. I mean, bro, I've been hooping in these crazy. Like, I'm going to show you all the difference between the God Tier Batch and then the Kobe 5s, but... I just got so many shoes that it's it's just hard, bro. Like I'm, these are the special Kobe Five. These are the God Tier Kobe Five, and God Tier on the website is two twenty, so it's a hundred dollar increase. But it's one to one with performance and looks. First on the list, we got a banger, a banger. This is the Krabby Patty, and now you, the <laughs> yo, the Kobe Five K Wow, bro. And I'll show y'all the differences between this pair and the other pair. 
Look at that. Breast cancer on the other tongue, bro. That's tough. So the difference between this one and this one, that this world killer batch or whatever batch this is, is a little bulkier, bro, from the back. The guy tier is a little bit slimmer, like one-to-one -one retail. And this toe box is a little flat. So this is like form-fitting to your like foot. Next on our list is another heavy hitter, bro. I'm telling you, the Kobe 5 EYBL. This is number one in my rotation right now. Let me know if y'all want. <laughs> Let me know if y'all want that review. I mean, if y'all didn't pick these up right now, I mean, I don't know what you're doing. Every time I go into these hoop sessions, people are looking at them like, damn, Cam, those are those are tough, bro. Like, plug me. And I'm like, yo, use the code KFC. It's a toss-up between the Kobe 5s and the Kobe 6 as far as my favorite Kobe's. So now we're going to go into the Kobe 6s. So first on that list, bro, Kobe 6 Mambasita. I mean, these were the first free Kobe's I've gotten sent. These aren't from Jersey Frost. These are from uh, Yaya Kicks. Yeah, they blessed me. First shoe that I got sent free, bro. So it holds a special place in my heart. I don't really hoop in these a lot, but when I did, um, they're a pretty good performer. Number two on our list, we got the Kobe 6 Grinch. And I'm going to keep it a bean with you. I'm going to keep it a stack with you. I don't really like the sixes from just the regular sixes. I don't really like them because a little bulky from the back, a little bulky on the toe box. I'm going to show y'all the God tier pack ones and the differences, but if you're going to get a Grinch, when they get a God tier Grinch colorway, I'll spend my bread on that. I got to be, I got to keep it real with y'all. That's why y'all mess with me. So, but the thing about it, bro. I say those are bulky, but it's really just the batches, bro, because the Kobe 6 BHM, these are probably one of my favorite shoes to hoop in just because of the colorway. Uh, I was hooping in these outside. I'm not going to lie to you. These are hard, <laughs> simple. The difference between this one and the Grinch, I mean, it's just a different batch. It's, it's, it's bulky, but it's not that bulky. It's form-fitting to your foot. So when I be telling y'all to tap in with me, I be serious about this. We got a heavy hitter, Kobe 6 Prelude. Now, look at that pattern. Look how beautiful that is, bro. I mean, from the details, bro, and the translucent rubber. To be honest, I low-key wear these just out. I don't really hoop in them or do anything anymore in them. I just like wearing them out because they look so damn good. So next on the list, we got the Kobe 6 Dark Knights. I hooped in these once. I love them. They're dope. I love these, but once you once you buy the God Tier, I'm telling you, you can never go back. First God Tier pack from Jersey Frost that I've gotten, Kobe 6 EYBL. <laughs> Let's have a moment of silence for this beautiful colorway. I couldn't go back. I couldn't go back to those. Nah, I don't want to say regular, bro. I don't want to say regular, but I can't go back to the cheaper batches, the performance batches, when these are one-to-one -one, like retails. As you can see, bro, it's just is way slimmer. Even the toe box, the toe box is way slimmer. It's more form-fitting to your foot. Next on our list. The reverse Grinches, bro. <laughs> Look how beautiful these are, bro. Now, I did a real versus rep comparison. In real time, I didn't film it. The greens are a little bit lighter on the rep pair than they are the real. This is amazing. I, I do everything in this. Uh, boxing these, jump rope, gym, lift, hooping, wearing them out. Like, I mean, this is why you get reps because I took an L on these with my boy Jay and I was just like, I'm not mad, I got these. This is an embodiment of Kobe with the snake skin, with everything. This is just what started it all. I love the 5'2", but this colorway is so hard. It goes with anything. The materials, look at that tongue. <laughs> the materials on this is crazy. And then the box that came with it was different, bro. Look at this box. Different. And it doesn't have like a swoop box. You have to open it. So now the guy tier is done. Now we're going to go into our Kobe 6 collection. Not the Kobe 8s. I only have two pairs of Kobe 8s. 
but this one is for sure hard. I'm giving away this pair, the Kobe 8 BHM. Look at that. I mean, look at that, man. Like, look at the tongue, traction. It even came, even came with a double insole or the drop-in midsole. Look at the laces. That's crazy. Even though I love this pair, I'm giving this pair away. So if you want this pair of Kobe 8s, and I'll sign them. Nah, I'm kidding. But if you want this Kobe 8s, subscribe, turn on the bell notification, and comment, I'm locked in, if you want a pair of these. Now we're going to the last sneaker in our rotation. Probably one of the best sneakers as far as performance. Again, thank you, Jersey Frost, for providing me with free sneakers, providing me a chance to give away free sneakers to people. Y'all know who y'all are. Even though you might say it's rep, I never thought I would get free sneakers. Never thought I would be able to hoop and Kobe's again because of the inflation of prices. I'm just extremely grateful and extremely grateful if you made it this far in the video. So without further ado, let's get right into the last pair, bro. The Halo Kobe 8s. It's not going to pick up crazy on the camera, but it's a lot of dirt and grime on there. As you can see on the bottom, I completely dismantled this shoe. It's gonna feel stiff. It's gonna feel stiff as hell. Attraction is gonna feel stiff and slippery when you first get damn near all these pairs except the GT Cuts, but you have to keep playing in them and they'll all break in. Once the material is broken on this pair in specific, it was like the retail Kobe 8s that I fell in love with. My favorite Kobe of all time. Even though I mess with the Kobe 6s, this one will forever hold in my heart because this was the first basketball shoe I've ever gotten in my life. So thank you Jersey Frost for allowing me to get the shoes that I've always wanted. And to be honest with you, bro, that's the reason why I mess with reps in general and Jersey Frost, I'm extremely grateful of the opportunity. Please tap in, subscribe to the videos, and I'll see y'all when I see y'all, man. Peace.